I received half an hour's notice. The uh, the galley boy of the the ship had absconded, and uh, I was under the control of the uh, racing stray society, and. Uh, I went out to the ship with the captain on the pilot boat. I was told to take my glasses off. We climbed up the rope ladder of a, a steamer in ballast. And uh, we'd no sooner on board than the ship sailed. You have to remember that I, I was brought to my home from the age of three. Yes. I was under the domination of other people all the time. Mm -hmm. I had no will of my own. Yes. And uh, when I eventually climbed on board that, within 24 hours, I changed from a boy into a man. Really? Yeah. Did your ships join other convoys immediately, or did they sail independently? The first time we went to sea, we were in a convoy of six ships. Six, right. And as we were sailing out of the Mersey, mm -hmm. uh, one ship was bombed. Ah. So it missed the convoy. So five of us, and we sailed out for about two days, and then we were on our own. Did you have any kind of escort at all? Uh, not that I can remember. Just no. the six ships. Yeah. yeah. So no, no kind of, uh, no, ca no, no kind of destroyers or, or. Oh no, we didn't have no destroyers. The, the biggest you had then was, uh, trawlers at the time, you know, and then corvettes. Yeah. Did any of these, uh, did any of the these six ships have any kind of weaponry of their own? So, like, did any of them have anti-aircraft guns or any kind of uh, small caliber naval guns? Uh, not at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. no. But later on in the war, did they get them? Uh, later on in the war, they, they got uh, uh, a big four-inch gun aft mm -hmm. and uh, all their guns. Oh yes, around the ship. Yeah, those were found. Yeah, and yeah. they were manned by the crew. Right. Yeah, except they used to have uh, one or two Dems on board, okay. uh, defensively mm -hmm. enemy against merchant shipping. What called Dems? So when. So when so this convoy route was from uh, Mer from the Mersey to New York then was it? It's from to Halifax, uh, Nova uh, to Halifax, uh, Canada. Nova Scotia then. Yeah, right. and uh, it was January. Uh, it took us a month to do a fortnight's voyage. Yeah. We were in ballast. So every time you. Uh, the bow went down, the stand came up, and the propellers spun in the air. So yeah. the engineer spent, chief engineer spent all his time in the engine room, shutting the engine down and opening it up again. Yeah. And one day we were in exactly the same situation, same place as we were 24 hours ago. The sea was so heavy, you could sail so, ahead. Yeah. Was so it? that was my first. Uh, introduction to say uh, January North Atlantic, which is acknowledged to be the worst period at sea for the Atlantic, really? North, North Atlantic. So a steep learning curve then. Yes. When when you were on, did did a lot of people get seasick aboard the ship? Yes, I was seasick for nine days. Yeah. So how many, was six ships a normal number for a convoy back then? This is what, at the start, when the start of the war, eventually, we, uh, over the course of the years, we'd have many as a hundred ships. Really? Yeah. So what happened when you finally got to uh, Halifax on, on the ship? When we got to Halifax eventually, uh, and 
uh, Britannia kunde just the snow snow overnight mm -hmm. and uh, we were loading grain yes and the, the grain and the snow uh, they uh, had to chip the ship off because the weight between the grain and the snow was so great that the before you could sail uh, if, if you didn't the ship would topple over 